Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is storing photo cards because I have accumulated a bit of things during my month away. This is just my TXT stack, that's not everything. And then these, I actually don't store bigger inclusions on camera. So I won't even store these, I don't even know why I have these out. I guess this is just a reminder to myself to do it. I just have some of uh, Diane's like brand deal postcards that I've wanted for a while because this look especially is like one of my favorites ever. This is um like the Weaver's standy thing and these are some like GKO merch things. Um, I just kind of needed that as a reminder to do it. <laughs> I'm actually going to start off with my miscellaneous uh, little boy group binder. I only have four cards for this. So first and foremost, I have um, this Subin card. It's his Gravity version from the recent album. I had talked about I was going to like get rid of all my TXT cards that weren't um, Bomb June, but I'm going to keep my Subin <laughs> because, you know. I have more HN cards, actually. Still ISTJ. I'm still stuck on that. These, I don't know if they're all with Mu or not, but they're all Pobs. I thought they were really cute and I found them in a set for cheap. So why not? That's just my thing for him. If I think it's cute, I'll get it. Because I mentioned before, like, yeah, it would make sense to collect his album cards. And I have some. It's not that I'm like anti like album cards. But for him, I just get whatever I like. So I have mostly pops for him. I think. Well, I guess just these. These are all album cards. Okay, so I haven't even... No, I don't. <laughs> but yeah, they're really cute. Like, I love this one especially. And this one's super cute too. I don't know. The ISTJ cards, which is really cute. But that's all for this binder. Now I actually have stuff for my TXT binder, which is kind of a lot. Okay, so here is the TXT binder. We have a pretty good stack today because I'm finishing Bomb Goo. I'll talk... Just bear with me. I'll talk about it. First of all, I'm at least completing all of the older era album cards for him that completes blue hour then i have everything for fighter escape these oh my goodness i love his fighter escape cards so much like this one especially the little cheek poke he looks so cute this one's cute too i just love the fighter escape cards in general though this one, then the infamous Harley Quinn Bombadil, and then these cards are just boring. <laughs> like I like them, you know. I guess like they're pretty. I guess it's just the concepts are really boring. Definitely the most boring era for cards. And I say it's boring, but believe it or not, like the like tier slash end concept is actually my favorite. <laughs> That's end, right? Hate end meth, yeah. That was actually my favorite. I loved those concept pictures. I thought they were so cute and so pretty. And then this is done reality. Then we have the melancholy. These everyone loves him with this hair. I am a long hair Bumbu enthusiast. I usually don't like long hair like that, but he just looks really good with it. Now here, I've made a mistake. So I was going through and like prepping my binders for this video this morning and I got to this page and I was looking at the backs for whatever reason. And I was like, why are they different? I was so confused. And then I was like, oh my gosh, this is Bumbu's UMS pop. So I actually don't have Bomb Gear complete, which I I even have it on my Instagram that he's complete. He's not. I just found out. I was so bummed out this morning about it. I don't know. I bought this set off Neokyo and I just didn't check. I just had assumed, wrongfully so, that this was both cards for clarity and this is not. This, this is UMS Bob. But I'll probably keep it and put it somewhere else. But for now, I'm actually just going to keep it here. I'll switch it out. I gotta get that card, unfortunately. I thought I was done. I really like, like, the Clarity version's actually, like, my favorite. Well, for the regular, like, photo book versions. So that card's actually super pretty, so I'll probably keep it. 
but we need to get the actual album card. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I did that. That's so embarrassing. I was able to trade for all of Yunjun's um, Weverse cards and then um, I actually got his full set in a group order I was in, so that's really cool. Wasted my time, but that's okay. I just decided to put free fall. You know how it is. And then I was only missing this card for this page, so... Yeah, I ended up just trading the extra set I had for the remaining Bumgoos and Weavers. They have both of their gravities, and Bumgoos is so cute, so pretty. His is my favorite in the whole set. He looks so good. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh, I was gonna say free fall complete. It's not complete. Whatever, I'll get the card, I'll get the card, I'll get the card. Then I have my um, Yunjun Pob section. So I did get um, a Fighter Escape Lucky Draw. This is MTU, I think. So had it once upon a time, sold it. Terrible decision, because the Soundwave one is so expensive. I have that and I have the Power Station. But Soundwave, it's really expensive. I want it, but it's whatever. Okay, so... Right, this is the Weaver's Global Standard. I love the card. He has two cards like this, or three cards maybe? I don't remember. And then this is the, is it Gravity version or Weaver's version? One or the other, I can't remember. And then these are on the way. And then these are the UMS cards. This is just the regular UMS. This is UMS Gravity. See, it's in that concept. That's why I got Bungie's confused. Oh, it's whatever. It's whatever. I love this Yunjun card, though. I think it's so cute. Like, I think it's cuter than his actual album cards in that concept. And then that was just gorgeous. I actually almost collected OT5 for that. Then this is his UMS um, Lucky Draw. So these were really cheap. I don't know what the difference was between last comeback and this comeback. That these are so cheap. And then these are the showcase cards, I think. I just love this outfit. I just think he looks so cute. So these are the showcase cards. Um, I have everything on the way, I believe so. This, I need to change this because there was a third round announced. And I definitely want it because number one, it's a selfie and I collect all selfies for him. And it's based on the previews, it's my favorite. So yeah, I have all of this on the way. Okay, here. This is my round one lucky draw page. So, this one's my favorite and I think it looks really cute. I tend to like the pobs that aren't in the album concepts, which I think is probably not um, uncommon. Back for more. We got a little PC from that and this is the I don't know how to say it. Cacao talk? I think it's close. You know what I'm talking about. Maybe. That's that. Um, this, he has a unit with Subin too. Would love to have it. It's just expensive right now. So I just need to rearrange for that round three. YZY. -Y. And then I took out the Weaver's Japan raffle because I guess I didn't understand what that was. Those were like going for like $200. <laughs> oh, we will not be um, purchasing that. So I went ahead and just took that right out. Moving on to twice. So this binder needs um, a lot of reorganizing. But for the time being, I'm just going to shove these cards in these spots. I'm really sorry. So I have this uh, Momo JYP Shop Candy Bong card. I got top four for these recently. And this, what a day this was. Like the Rover TikTok was in this. <laughs> Means a lot to me. Then I'm just gonna put these cards here. So I have randomly this um, Twice Coaster Lane 2 Jonghyun. Cause I had bought her Lane 1 card and this was in the set, so we got it. Then I got Mina's Ring Pop card and I got this because my mutual was selling um, 
a ready to be ot9 signed promo album and i bought it because why not and i'm really happy about that purchase great because ready to be is just a special error to me i've talked about that a million times and this was like sold with it so that's fun that was a little extra to get so yeah we need to we need to do some work in here we gotta figure this out i also want to get a new binder because i sorry i'm like so over these binders now starting off um the big binders with the die hand binder so since the last time i had filmed um i definitely have changed my perspective on this collection again which i thought i would i'm back into it now i bought like three big trading card sets so we're doing good i also reorganized by well i didn't technically reorganize i just sleeved everything in white sleeves because why not so i have two cards here these are this um brand that she reps i don't know how to pronounce it if you know you know if you don't know sorry <laughs> they go here there we go and then I have I need to make a bunch of things because more cards have been announced since we've talked to each other last for now I have these I have this superstar card for once again this is the first one I have of superstar JYP cards so I'm super happy about this I was in a group order for for the um Japan ones which was so cute but the set was sold before the gum could secure it. So oh, that's unfortunate. And then this is the, is this the offline benefit, I think? I think this might be the offline benefit for the once again merch, like the pop-up store. So yeah, I went ahead and got diamonds. And then I still need to sleeve all this stuff in white back here. And then I have a page of GKO in the back because I'm probably going to expand on that collection just a little bit. Just a little bit, but I'm actually really focused on my Diehan collection, like non-album again right now. So that's really exciting. Next up, we have the um, non-album OT9 binder. So I only have four cards in here. I gotta add pages in here again. So we always gotta add stuff, but I actually have more cards for this. Um, I just gotta figure out which one goes with which set. So it should be her 18 card, yes. So we'll put that in here and this set is done we love this set is also done there we go so still this is the only card <laughs> how many times do i have to beg how many times please i can't even find it so please somebody sell me that card please then i'm completing this set as well and i forgot this set I bought for Chewy had an extra one of these. So we'll sell or trade that. But yeah, everything else is done. Um, new trading card set. And Caesar's greeting stuff, whatever. Please, Momo. Please. That's it for this binder, though. I do have, like, five cards for the album photo card binder. Okay, first page. We're completing this set today. I have all the cards for this set. So I'm now only missing one card to complete my entire twice album photo card collection. So, oh, sorry, I don't know what I was doing. And it's in this more and more set. It's the two Eon unit. Let me flip back. So we have this one. I'm just missing two Eon. Um, yeah, I'm, I'll get it eventually. I'm not like too worried about it, to be honest. Everything else is done. But, uh, oh yeah, please announce I come back before I talk about that. Well, kind of. 2024 spring spring album um the pre-release i got you is february 2nd so we still have quite a while for that but i'm very excited um they're actually doing a cd release for the single which i'm like happy about because their u.s team is doing something right for once now will they do anything else besides that probably not i don't have much hope for them but the cd is good so Pre-order the CD on Twice Shop, guys. I'm a promoter. I'm here for Twice. The top three binder. Oh, is this an exciting one? Oh, is this an exciting one? I did finally get that GKO signal set in. So, album photo cards are done officially because I have them on hand. So, there we 
there we go. We are done with album cards. Now I just have pops, which is also very exciting. You'll see, you'll see. So as you guys know, I've been doing some work on work when it comes to Jihyo Pobs. Yeah, I've accumulated quite a bit, as you know. So we did complete the Soundwave fans line set. And, um, oh yes, this last lucky draw. Got it. So cute. I love that card so much. That one and the one in the middle. They are adorable. So Formula Love is done for top three Pobs. Between one and two. Got it. We got it. So between one and two. Oh wait, no, there's a lucky draw. I forgot. That's done though. And then I did get the last lucky draw as well. Love. Like this look, you guys already know. Between one and two, done. I'm telling you, I'm getting caught up. I'm not gonna have anything to collect here. Um. Ready to be? Okay. I know. I got it. I bought a set with it. So we're good. I mean, it's technically done. It's just you can't see it yet. But that card is on the way. Ready to be will be done. So all pobs for my top three are done as well. Um, Because zone doesn't count because that's a solo. And we can't even talk. I can't even talk about it. But yeah, that's done. And then I just shoved this little page in the back. I forgot to take the die hand out. I said I was gonna take it out and I forgot to take it out. I'll get it after this, I promise I will. These are the JYP shop um, benefits for the Candy Bong Infinity I was talking about. I've had die hands for a while, it's in her binder. I gotta get it out and put it there. And then I'm collecting a few uh, pop sets for the season's greetings. I'll get the whiff move set for the Candy Bong too. Just whatever I feel. I don't know. We're just, that'd be the fun little thing in the back of this binder. If I ever like want to collect something, then I can't. But yeah, we're moving on to the last binder, which is the solo and subunit binder, which I mean, we have some things for. We've definitely made some progress. Okay, Misamo in zone time. Nyan's just been sitting here complete for a long while. Um, I'm actually really hoping that we maybe, fingers crossed, get a Nyan comeback next year. Maybe wishful thinking, but I don't know. I would like to see an Ion come back next year. I think it's possible, guys, because we didn't get anything this year. So maybe next year? I hope, please. I have things for Misamo. So this right here is a Tower Records Lucky Draw. These are big. They're not normal photo card size. This is just the group card from one of the album versions. They're bigger, but I kind of like it. I kind of like and cards like I kind of like that I kind of wish all cards were like that because it looks it looks good right it might look a little off with the other cards but that's fine that's two of her tower records lucky draws and this is another one and they're also kind of flimsy just slightly and then this is um a with me pop there were two of them um they're not the best looking <laughs> I joined my friend's group order we didn't know what they looked like we really had high hopes but they're not that good <laughs> And then, um, this is, oh yeah, this is another one of the lucky draws. Another lucky draw. The second with Moop Bob. And then this is the showcase event, um, card. But it matches with this, so, I don't know, and it's the same size. I like the bigger cards. Wait, maybe, I kind of wish they always did that. And then I had gotten Momo's solo version in my French group order for Masterpiece. And they come with these little Polaroids. I'm going to put them in here. I can't sleeve them because then they won't fit. But you guys like just kind of need to bear with me here. Okay, just like try to see the vision. Okay, it's not going to look the best. But they're really cute and I want to display them. So why not put them in here? The middle row though. Ooh. <laughs> The middle row, she's a little messy. This is another like album group card. Just, I'm sorry about this, okay? Ooh, it kinda maybe. 
Ooh, I put them here because they're both bigger, but I feel like that needs to go in the middle. Oh. Ooh, I don't know, guys. <laughs> Ooh, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I'll fix it later. I'll fix it later. We don't have the time right now. Okay. Ooh. Mm -mm, we gotta do something. I kind of feel like this needs to go to the middle. That doesn't break up the concepts though, because this needs to go in the middle because it's a whole different concept. But this needs to go in the middle because that. Oh, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out later. I'll figure it out later. I'll figure it out later. That's fine. It's good for now. Um, zone. Ooh. We actually have zone progress, guys. Everybody clap. Everybody clap. We have zone progress. So, got one of the cake cards. One down, one to go. Um, I found an account on Instagram. I'm gatekeeping, sorry. <laughs> I found an account on Instagram, though, that, like, they were posting, like, a bunch of zone sets. And, like, I kept getting them. And then, I don't know, then they were, like, offering me sets. I love them. I'm kind of, I'm just waiting for them to post more zone sets. Because that's how I was able to get more. And I got that for, like, a normal price. Not, like, people offering me cards for $30. I don't know how to take that because... Are you calling me crazy? Because... Well, yes. But I'm not that crazy, guys. $30? Well, I actually almost bought one for 30, for 33 yesterday. Okay, I maybe I am getting a little desperate, okay? I can't fault you for trying to sell me that. I can't. Because I almost did. Anyway, we have this card here. <laughs> Uh, yes, 24. I don't know if you guys are familiar. I mean, I'm just crazy, I guess. I don't know if you're familiar with the zone, like, templates. That's a crazy, that was a crazy sentence. But the right side of the template is, like, beating me up. It is beating me up bad. Bad. And then, ooh. Yes, 24 blanket card. Yes, 24 blanket card. And it just so happened that it went right in the middle. Absolutely. I just need, wait, was that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what else do we got? What else do we got? Music Korea Digipack. No, yeah, that's what that is. Okay, there we go. There we go. And then we move into the merch stuff, which I'm doing pretty good on. That's the acrylic frame card. The acrylic frame is so cute. And it had Jeevly, like, I don't know, like it has like the little like glass thing, you know, then they have things you can stick in it. There's a Jiho. And there's like some other things. And then there's a Jeebly. It's really cute. This is the Killing Me Good kit cards. Love these so much. Are you kidding me? That's gorgeous. And the one with the flowers too. So pretty. Love that one though. And then. Oh, my lucky draws. Okay, it's fine. I was thinking about why am I breaking up the zone merch stuff, but it's totally fine. There were seven JYP shop benefits. I forget how much you had to spend. You took in a certain amount, then you got one of these. I don't, I don't remember the amount, but there's seven. I have, I have six. I'm missing like the most popular one though, unfortunately. It's like the cheat heart one in, oh, in this outfit, but she's doing a cheat card. It's going for $200 on Neokyo. I was like, you guys are insane. You guys are insane. We'll find it. We'll find it. We will persevere. But that's what I have. Like I said, I have um, three more um, secured because I buckled down and made a ISO post on my Instagram for the remaining zone cards I need. And two people reached out to sell me some of these. I have one coming in my friend's Neokyo group order. And then two people reached out to sell me the other two cards. So I'm just missing the one. But yeah, I'm zone. I'm gonna, you know I'm gonna ask again. But if you have zone box and you want to sell them to me, let me know. Let me know. But yeah, I would just love to finish zone. I would just love to finish zone. It's not like I have to worry about a Jiho comeback for another like two years, unfortunately. Ideally, I like to finish it before the comeback. I'm assuming the album would be in like, February, I mean, April? April? I don't know. If they follow like what they did this year, then it might be two months after the pre-release. I don't know though. 
because they have the Encore concert in March. So upset about it. I had so much hope for an East Coast date. And I don't even live on the East Coast. I Like, I had to fly to, to, you know, on the East Coast to see them. I was really hoping for an East Coast date because I can't be flying out to Vegas. Tickets went on sale yesterday, though, and I was so bummed out about it. Part of me is like, do I go to Vegas? Do I go to Vegas? We'll see them again next tour, guys. We'll be there next tour for sure because they won't just be on the West Coast. They love the West Coast. They love the West Coast. Sorry, I don't know why I was talking about that. <laughs> but that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I'll see you in my next video. I'll probably do an end of year um, flip through of all my collections. Until then, I hope you guys have a very happy holidays. I hope you spend it safely and happily. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!